Okay, it's about 7.30 in the morning, and last night when we came home, our puppies were not here, but when we got here to feed them this morning, sometimes they'll go out wandering around, but when we got here to feed them this morning, they've been attacked by porcupine quills. So, this one here, Mika, she's just got a couple. So she's letting us work on them, we're going to get these ones out. Uh, our, our puppy had a few, let's see. Come here, puppy. This puppy, this little puppy had a few, but we got her, hers out, no problem. And she's still got a couple, but we've got one other dog, or two other dogs that are pretty bad. Brandy's fine. We got two that we're gonna take down to the vet because they won't let us get near them, and they've got a ton of, a ton on their faces, like probably like a thousand. So once I get, uh, Get them loaded in the truck. We'll uh, do a couple videos. So here we are. And Zach, Lincoln in the back. One of the afflicted dogs. And we are driving to town. So we have two of the worst cases with us. Apache is in the back of the of the truck, and we're going down to the vet if we can get them taken care of. So the other dogs, Lincoln was able to get most of the quills out. They were barely, barely harmed. But these two, there's some inside their mouth and we are not going to be able to get them out ourselves. So this should be another fun adventure up at Hidden Hills. Okay, it's like 4.15 in the afternoon. The dogs have been at the vet all day. And uh, they're done though. They got all of them out and they had to put them completely under in order to uh, get the job done because there were so many. So I'm on my way down to pick them up. Well, it's been raining today. The snow is melting. And uh, it's a little muddy, but we're making it. It's a little frozen underneath, so it's not too deep. but. Um, always an adventure. Okay, we got both the rascals back in the back of the truck. Here's Seneca. Come here, Seneca. Come here. You feel better? Huh? You feel better? How do you look? Oh, you look good. And then Patchy. Oh, too close. Patchy, come here. Good boy. He looks so much good better. Okay, we're part way home. I'm gonna jump out and uh, check on these doggies. See how they're doing. We, it takes about uh, 40 minutes to get home uh, from town. So I thought I'd just check on them and see how they're... How are you guys doing, huh? You guys gonna live? You guys wanna go home? Oh, you're slobbering. They were probably hungry. They And this is what my truck looks like, uh, driving home. So they were at the vet all day long and it, uh, they had to do painkillers and antibiotics and it took uh, two and a half hours to get, get all of the quills out of the, uh, out of Apache, the uh, Nufi. And it cost 450 bucks. So that's a lot of money. And hopefully they don't go around porcupines anymore because you can't be spending that every day for knucklehead dogs. We're gonna go home, get them some food. I've got antibiotics that they both have to take. And 
Uh, hopefully I'll stay out of trouble. <laughs> okay, we made it home. Let's get these puppies out of here. You guys ready to get out? Okay, one second, let me get up there. Let me get up there. Okay. Oh, pretty dark. Where is Nika? There you go, you're free. Apache. Come on. Come on, get down, guys. Come on, Apache. Come on, Zanaga. There's no easy way. You just gotta jump, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Seneca. Show him how. <laughs> you guys can step there if you want. Come on. You can do it, Apache. He doesn't ride in the back of the truck much. Seneca normally does, so I don't know what she's doing. Just jump. Come on. Come on, you guys want to eat? Want some food? Let's go eat, come on. Let's go eat. Chase it snow. 